So now mm -hmm. maybe you can ask me something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you treat some problems with the uh, um, Rosen method? For example, back problems. Sometimes we can. If it, if the, if it is not a structural problem and it is just a tension problem, then we can do something about it. You you talk about the diaphragm, the diaphragm that pulls in the lumbar vertebra. And you tell about it. <laughs> you do that so well. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. But uh, you yeah. think it can compress the vertebra and the discs in yes. the well the tension lower part tension in the musculature of course has an effect on the whole body mm. and sometimes people pull themselves too too small together don't want to take room and so they pull themselves smaller than they really are and sometimes they uh, hold something down they don't want to say in different areas and so we feel the tension you know, in different areas of the body. And then we can get, we understand a little bit what happens. But is it about the back problem you want to know now? or what? Yes. And the back problem that has very often to do with the tension of the diaphragm, which is our breathing muscle and in the middle of our body. And it has also two legs that go alongside the vertebra. And if the diaphragm is tense, these muscles get tense too, and they pull the vertebra too close together. And the nerves that come out of the vertebra very often experience pressure on them. And that pressure is what causes the pain, and sometimes the pain down the leg, but also in the back. And when we get the person to relax the diaphragm, and these muscles on the side relax, there is more space between the vertebrae again. And very often, miraculously, the pain disappears just because the pressure is not there anymore. And so this is what we use it for. And people are excited about it when all of a sudden they don't have the pain anymore. It happened in the, our last um, group, uh, our last uh, course three days ago, that one lady lost her hip pain that she had for many, many, many years, just through the relaxation there. She was very happy. Is that what you want so to know? Yeah, they make many operations now and make artificial joints, hips and knees. Yeah. Can we do something for them instead of operation? Well, I don't know about the knee. I have not, I do not know. But at the hip, I have had a lot of experiences when people relax there, that they do not need operations. Because when there's a tension around the hip, then again the bones get too close together, and when you move, the bones scrape, and that is what hurts in the, you know, what hurts the joint. And again, when there is more space with the relaxation, when the muscle lengthens, and does not keep the space too narrow, very often the pain goes away. And the pain goes very often away when people become aware of what made them so tense. What was it they were holding down or were holding on? That is. So I had, I don't know if I should talk about the story mm -hmm. about it. And that happened years ago, a lady came, she was 69, 79 years old, yeah, almost 80, and she was supposed to have a hip replacement for arthritis. And she thought she better come and see me before she had that. She came in with a cane like I do, you know, very heavy walking. And I worked on her hip and tried to relax the hip. And as the hip relaxed, she became aware. I asked her also about her life, and the life was very good. She had a nice husband. They lived in a beautiful house. They had enough money. 
she was still active working. Everything was fine. She didn't know why she was so tense. And then all of a sudden she started to cry. Just a little tear drops would come. And uh, I said, you're crying? And she said, I'm not crying. I just said, you know, it's a bit wet around here. And then she said, yes, she was thinking about something that she had had one person that she was training who she thought a lot about, of, and he was a very good pupil. And then he did something that was very unethical and it hurt her very much. And this is what the thing was that she was a tense about. But that was all that really happened while I was working on the hip and she was relaxing a bit more. And then she got up and she got dressed and the cane was still standing there. So she was going to walk with her cane, without her cane. And I said, what about your hip? And she said, what hip? She'd forgotten that it was hurting. It didn't hurt anymore. So she went out swinging the cane instead of using it to go with. And that was about, she's now 97 years old, so that was about eight years ago, no, more. It was 80, 15 or 18 years ago, quite a long time ago. She's still no hip replacement. If she had a little pain, she would come and we would work on her, it would go away again. And she's still fine, with 97. So that is a, a very nice story, I thought. And I'm very happy for her, mm -hmm. and for me too. But if they take x-ray and it shows that the, that the joint is deformed in some yeah. way. Well, it could be deformed quite a bit as long as the there is room in the joints to move. Mm. If it is deformed in a way that it does not interfere with the movement, it doesn't need to hurt. So the joint doesn't need to be perfect? No, it doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to have enough space for the movement. And the muscle tensor makes it to have less space? That's right. And if it has, if there is a tension there, it does hurt. If the tension goes there seems to be no pain. Mm.